um, sort of corporate, you know, kind of the shift towards corporate contract growers and the impact that that had. Could you just talk to me a little bit more about that? Well, I think that's where the industry is heading. And then, and, and, you know, we have 15 to 20 percent of the cattle traded in the cash every week. Uh, as a producer, I can tell you that uh, the lack of uh, the, the consolidation has, has produced uh, lower prices due to comp lack of competition. When we sell fat cattle in western Nebraska, Colorado, we generally have one packer in the market, even though there's four packers there, because they have captive supply right. or these formal contracts that, that, that have no premium or discount associated with them, and they're able to use a loophole in the packers and stockyards because we haven't defined those those contracts clearly enough as, as the industry has changed. So yeah, I, I can tell you that it has resulted in lower prices so that me as a feeder go to a producer, I'm not gonna bid them up any higher on their calves. So the people in Minnesota, the producers in Minnesota are gonna feel it. Mm 